Calm, confident, and resplendent in her silk dress and pearls, the lady holding an orange blossom holds court at the Art Gallery of Ontario. So whomever it's by, we can tell from the quality of the painting itself that it's a really stunning portrait. That's right, neither the artist nor the subject is known. We found the painting at an auction house in New York just a month ago. So the AGO is doing some detective work. In the building. Even getting suggestions from the public through a Facebook Live. But mystery aside, the portrait makes a powerful statement. By having white faces on our walls exclusively, we present a monolithic view of history that's just not accurate. The Art Gallery of Ontario is not the only arts institution trying to ensure that what's on its walls better reflects its visitors. At the Phillips Collection in Washington, a new exhibit looks at how black artists responded to Impressionism. But much of this curator's work has focused on white artists painting black people. We have slaves or descendants of slaves in Europe in various capacities, and they do end up at some point uh, in the artistic or in the visual record. But because of the lack of documentation, we often lose those histories, we often lose the stories. Adrian Child suspects finding the identity of the woman in the AGO painting won't be easy, but that her very presence is so important. And visitors seem to agree. It's a lovely painting, and uh, the girl has an interesting natural shyness to her. Coming from an unknown artist, so maybe you have uh, a lot of hidden history that we don't know about. For now, the woman with a mysterious smile will intrigue art lovers, no matter the color of her skin. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, CBC News, Toronto.